audio check. Audio good, audio good. turn of events I've got to say um, yeah uh, well we were supposed to be at this point in time doing a live check from RAF Waddington uh, we went there um, and uh, were very quickly approached by the lovely lady who runs uh, the wave at Waddington and um, the MOD have uh, decided in their infinite wisdom and understandably got to respect uh, their wishes must respect their wishes them the police security teams authorities etc etc um, but uh, one must uh, understand that uh, you know if they make a decision then you've got to go with it it's as simple as that and the bottom line is no live streaming <laughs> from Waddington um, lots of 500 mil cameras that you can pick out the um, the eyes on the ants uh, the other side of the <laughs> The hangers with easily but uh, but no live streaming <laughs> I'll come back I'll come back to you in a second so um, seeing as we're here fire it up not gonna have these um, bushes and branches tomorrow folks because we're gonna get here a little bit earlier we are gonna uh, let's just let this one back. watch the plume of dark oh going too wide Nice. So we're at Coningsby, RAF Coningsby, folks. The home uh, of um, a number of uh, squadrons here. In the heart of Lincolnshire, or Lincoln, Bomber County.
Royal Air Force. Um, not only the Royal Air Force, of course, got the... Um, oh, got a couple coming out. Hey! Hey! For once, Jill is in the van. I'm sure it's Steve from the Burger Van, isn't it, Jilly? Was it Steve from the Burger Van? I'm pretty sure. For some reason, I just... I know, I know, I'm terrible with names, you know I am, but I think it, I, I think it's Steve. Let's just call him Steve anyway. What a lovely lad, uh, turning up. Um, unannounced, he had absolutely no idea we were coming, but he's got his Big Tech TV shirt on. Looking a bit tatty, I have to say, but not him, but the shirt, you know. <laughs> Fantastic man. Coming to a new van near you soon. Burger Van Man. Uh, the new uh, weather radar uh, thing that they've been fitted with or is that something that's always been on there and I just never noticed it before oh, I think it's always been on there isn't it the other side is the uh... oh hello oh, I've never seen that before hey, hey! anti-static white gloves Oh, I think that might be part of the uh, Qatar um, Amiri um, squadron. Is it possibly? These things are just... Uh, even without afterburner, these things... What's up? Okay. Owls about, eh? Oh, okay. I got you, I got you. Uh, yeah, so um, normally, folks, we are we are positioned a little bit closer to the front, but just because we've uh, arrived, that's where we normally are. So uh, we've got a little bit of bushery going on here. Um, doesn't matter. It's uh, it's um, like I say, it, it's unexpected. Um, how are you doing then, anyway? Uh, what is it? Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Tuesday. I think they're going straight out. Uh, so. Yeah. Yes, so um, Waddington, great shame. Um, and the biggest shame, the biggest part of it is, um, is the fact that we're not gonna get to see those, uh, those tornadoes, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah, we might be getting some comments from people saying, oh yeah, but there was someone streaming there the other day. Well, that may be the case. Um, but uh, we were informed uh, that no vans, no dogs, um, which kind of like makes us also think that uh, it may be part of an insurance thing, part of a risk assessment that they've done with um, with lots of people going into uh, into the to the wave. Um, so who knows? Who knows? But uh, I did hear that apparently. Um, some fella turned up with his dog last time for the last Cobra Warrior ex exercise and um, uh, it unfortunately uh, bit three people, police were called, bloke was taken them, you know, uh, uh, into custody, um, the, dog, the dog was not so lucky, um, I've got to be honest with you, somebody saying, mentioning the other day uh, about bringing your dog to uh, bringing your dog to um, to, a, to, a, to, to, to to an event like this where the noises are very, very extreme. Uh, dogs have very, very um, acute hearing. Um, and 
and so therefore as a, as a you know uh, it is questionable as to whether you should be bring pets to something like this anyway it's a bit like bringing a baby in it you know like a baby that's got absolutely no idea what's going on and doesn't really care <coughs> and just ends up crying and uh, it's a bit like leaving your car live as well in it you know um, but anyway hey um, so yes, nothing happening at Waddington. So the fact that Waddington's literally just down the road, um, we decided, well, I'm all, all the way up here. I'm not gonna go all the way home. Um, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna live stream uh, exercises here at uh, REF Coningsby tomorrow, folks. Um, uh, we, when's the last time we were here, Jilly? few weeks ago wasn't it? it wasn't that long ago from memory it's uh yeah okay anyway here we go nice branch august the third oh okay quite some time ago then. a month ago then <laughs> Petwood Hotel, somebody asking about the, um, Bobby Fitzsimmons asking about the, the, the hotel that we stayed at. Very, very famous hotel, folks, the Petwood Hotel. Um, oh, we've got a couple more coming out, we've got a couple more coming out. Um, the Petwood Hotel. I think that's three squadron over there, isn't it? Um, so yes, the Petwood Hotel, hotel very, very famous um, hotel, which was the officer's mess for 617 squadron. Um, Back in, the, back in the war. Um, but also, uh, if you want, there's, a, there's, a, there's an image inside uh, the hotel. There's lots and lots of, of black and white images spattered uh, all over the place. Drawings, pictures, um, uh, artistry, all that kind of thing um, of, um, of, of uh, 617. Dan Buster Squadron. Of course, don't forget that 617 Squadron went on to uh, carry out other major um, exercises that to turn the face of the war, um, Turpits being one of them as well. Um, uh, Guy Gibson was no longer there at that point in time. He'd, he'd by that um, by that time he'd uh, he'd unfortunately not returned on a mission uh, flying his Mosquito. So yeah, this is this is a this is an, an, an uh, a sort of like an unplanned stream, folks. We're just gonna. Uh, I don't know if I can hear. I mean, the fact that those canopies are up, kind of indicates to me that they are gonna be uh, they're gonna be operational quite soon. So uh, bear with us. Uh, yeah, great shame about Wannington, folks. Yeah, I don't know if you. Uh, I don't know if, if if it's worth. I don't know if it's worth mentioning um, Big Jet TV if you're uh, if you if you're planning on staying at the um, at the Petwood, but um, it's uh, 
it might be worth a go because uh, they kind of know. I've, I've stayed there a couple of times now. Um, unfortunately, because we were planning to be at Waddington tomorrow, my hotel is uh, a lot further away uh, than, than the Petwood, um, closer to Waddington. Um, Uh, yeah, you could do, you could do, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, can you just check, can you just check how far it is from here then? Just check how far it is from here. You got, uh, oh, okay. Um, hold on a minute, let me just fire this up. Let's get some comments on the go. Let's read some comments. Uh, how's your Tuesday, folks? I hope you're all well. Turn that down. Switch that off. Oh, uh, hold on a minute. Let me, um, I'll tell you what I did see, uh, Jilly, as we, were, as we were driving past the BBMF hangar, the BB the BBMF hangar. Oh, it's 15 minutes driving it. The BBMF hangar was open. Um, whether they're planning anything it is literally something that unless you unless you've got your your, your, your nose literally uh, drilled to the floor or your ears drilled to the to the to whatever it is uh, regarding the BBMF um, or you know someone there um, who works at BBMF, uh, it's a very difficult thing to do in terms of. Um, uh, planning to catch uh, test flights or uh, a positioning flight or whatever it might be um, for with the with the uh, the BBMF the Battle of Britain Memorial flight. Um, I can definitely hear an engine. I can definitely hear an engine. Uh, so yeah, great shame about Waddington. Um, what did I see? Uh, the Vulcan uh, has been moved from her position as the gate guardian where she was uh, previously. She's now stationed, positioned over at the uh, at the main building terminus area, whatever you call it. Um, and uh, she's uh, painted in a primer. Uh, so whether that's uh, to protect her, um, I'd imagine it probably is, or uh, unless they're going to, they're planning on um, a, a painting or a, a giving her a new, a, a fresh lick of paint or what. But um, I'd, I'd say, I'd say it's a good thing, um, and the reason I say that is because um, if uh, they were planning to do anything else with her in terms of um, perhaps uh, um, uh, um, uh, chopping her up, for example, and taking her off somewhere else, or giving her to another uh, museum or something. Um, they would have probably just left her as she was. Uh, so the fact that she does have a, 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 a lick of paint, uh, she's she's now in grey primer. Um, it uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, right, GP. What I'm going to do is just uh, stand by. I'm going to I'm going to I'm coming off this phone so I can read comments. So I'll. I'll uh... Okay. All right. Okay. Stand by. Um, now I can do this. Colin McCann. I know what you're talking about. I've clipped my finger on a, on a, I caught my finger on a spag. Uh, that's, that's a good point. Um, yeah, do you want to go and do that? Do you want to go and do that? Uh, I'm going to send Jilly up there now to have a, go and have a look and see whether or not there's a, a notice on the, um, 
on the board. Uh, it's just about where that cat was, Jilly, I think. What if, what if it goes down? It's not going to go down, is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, super smashing grit. Right, okay. It's definitely, um, okay, that's, that's working. That is working. Uh, it's got power on there. TG Osprey, uh, got two months badge this morning, fantastic. I'll take it from the top folks, lots of comments. Um, David Bowman, unreal noise. Um, I do hope and I think that uh, you get the same booming, crackling, um, proper noise uh, that, uh, that that I get here. Uh, I think these mics are fantastic from Rode. Um, <laughs> only supposed to be Lavelia mics, uh, interview mics really, uh, believe it or not, but they are very, very um, uh, good indeed. Uh, Martin Smith, will the BBMF be flying tomorrow? I've absolutely no idea. Um, turn that down, GP. Okay. No, I can hear. I can hear. No, where, where, where's that? Where's, where's my voice coming out? Is that coming out of the van or is that coming out of your... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Martin Smith, we will try. We will try. Uh, hopefully, Jilly's off now to go and have a look. You know where to go, Jilly, yeah? Okay. Uh, Sylvia sounds amazing. Big Mac, Clive Clark, Lisbon spotter, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Nice sort of, uh, EFA 2000 Eurofighter typhoons there. Dave Morgan, um, aviation in 4K. Jeff Bundy, Haley Barron. Um, since uh, been a while since I. I've got on a live, Haley. a very good afternoon to you. And uh, thank you, uh, Haley. as well. I mean, there's a lot of people who, who, um, who continue uh, their support and uh, we really do appreciate it wholeheartedly, man. I mean, um, and uh, as, as, we've, as we've discussed, and I don't want to get into the whole financial thing, but uh, it's, it's, it's even now, it's more so now uh, with, with, with what's in front of us. Uh, in terms of uh, the future ahead, um, they're saying 10 or 20 years, aren't they? Um, that, uh, that, that, that that we're going to have um, high fuel prices and all that kind of stuff. Um, 10 or 20 years, or or at least uh, we're going to be paying it back for 10 or 20 years. Um, oh. um, yeah. What I find amazing is that, uh, that, that I heard on the news that... <coughs> oh, Jilly, you can come back, mate. Jilly, you can come back. I can, hear a, I, can hear a, I can hear a prop. I can definitely hear a prop. And I think it's a Spitfire or a Hurricane, one of the two. Oh, no, it's not. It's a, no, it's a Eurofighter. Go up there. Sorry, keep going. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. The, the, the energy companies are going to have to borrow money from the government uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to give us, a, 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 for us to put a, a stop on the prices for, 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 for the energy, the energy companies are going to have to borrow money for, how's that work out? They've got so much bleeding money themselves anyway, haven't they? Why do, oh, I don't know, whatever. I just... Uh... Sorry, GP. I, th I thought I heard a. I thought I heard a prop there. Okay, here we go, folks. A lone wolf. Flit it. I think that right. That that. Um, I think it might be weather. Uh, or is that a, a missile? Um, three. Look at, look at the wing. That beautiful curve in the wing. I know what it sounds like inside that cockpit, right? APU. 
review the soot from the APU. Sack GP. The lanks, what? Hold on a minute, I need to turn this volume up. I can't flip in here yet. Say that again, say that again. The Lancaster is out of the hangar with her engine ru engines running. Let's not get too excited. It may just be a um, uh, a mag check or something like that. Um, mag as in magnetos uh, for the superchargers. Uh, so, oh man, wouldn't that just be absolutely fantastic? If uh, yeah, man, I bet it is. Oh my goodness me. Is there um no 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 don't worry about that Julie is there any is there is is d d d what what kind of activity is there is it are there people just standing around looking at it or are there are there are there, are there is there anyone in the cockpit that's what we want to know is there anyone in the cockpit there is people in the cockpit yeah just one person or more than one or because obviously they would need. Okay, okay, might be a flight engineer just, just, just doing the engine test. Okay, well, hey, let's just, uh, let's, let's get excited. Let's get excited. Why not? Um, let me get down and get me, um, get me clip. Stand by, folks. If it starts taxing, Jilly, then um, which, way is, which, which way is it facing? A away from the hangar? Okay, this sounds pretty promising, folks. chat going get some chat going yeah don't forget we still got one uh, still got one down the other end there Jeff Bundy we need smell of vision well Jeff to be perfectly honest with you you don't you don't get uh, you don't get much of a of a smell um, unfortunately <laughs> Paul Lucas, yes, um, Paul Lutas, sorry, uh, yes indeed, uh, we've got an inbound, got an inbound yet, uh, it's one of the returning, um, that's what he's waiting for isn't it, oh, this is an F-35, this is an F-35, this is an F-35, what's going on here? This is, I'm pretty sure it's an F-35, mate. Oh my goodness me. Is this from uh, 617 Squadron, possibly? Okay, East Kirby, what uh, that 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 will be not landing at East Kirby. That would have been uh, that would have been a display. Uh, okay. Okay.
out. What was that all about? Is that a 617 jet? It was a treat, wasn't it? It's a big plume of... Watch the back of the jet as this thing lights up. Coming at you, Jilly. Trevon Wood, perfect time to tune in. Check this out. Get ready to uh, crank it up to 11, folks. style I mean it wasn't as as um, as, as as vertical as as a, as a QRA and of course it wasn't running the afterburners but it was as good wasn't it hey hey livened up your afternoon a bit in it folks awesome Sylvia S rocket Rav H Dustin Jackson Sue Freeman Wowzers Paul Skilling Chris B R Z wow uh, Rav H very uh, yeah, very right indeed. Uh, better to use ADSB exchange for military. Uh, telling Mac Cat Lady there, uh, Dustin Jackson. Shock and or abandoned UK Ken Alloway, uh, Haley Barron. Just absolutely fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. You hear that, Jilly? Did you hear that? Did you see that? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my god, she went up, he went up vertical, didn't he? Uh, school power, power. Uh, soul power, oh, soul power, sorry, my apologies, uh, I, I've, I've got a glare on the screen there, soul power, sorry, like that. Um, Trish, uh, loving it, Chris Cartwright, Mark Barr, TG Osprey, Steve Hart, GN Man, good day to you, Philip Jones. Uh, I miss the phantoms, yes. Uh, interestingly enough, I was saying this morning to some fella up at the up at um, Wado about the fact that they've got those um, the, 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 the tornadoes up there. Uh, that's the one thing that I'm pretty gutted about the fact that we're not going to get to see those tornadoes of the uh, of the Luftwaffe. Uh, but wouldn't it have been brilliant if they had a couple of phantoms going in there as well? Eh? Uh, Gary Boak straight to the moon. Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, Martin Smith. Um, strap a few of them to the rocket. Yeah, um, just absolutely fantastic. Um, Mrs H better than work any day. Obi Wan off to tattoo, tattoo, tattooing, tattooini, tattooing. Um, is that the? Uh, I don't know. It's somewhere in Star Wars, isn't it? Something going on in that in that hangar. Oh, tattooing. There we go. Is something going on in there. Um, not sure which are the. Um, that was just fantastic, wasn't it, eh, folks? Eh? 
Absolutely awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, Paul Skilling, loving the bonus show. Um, Clive Clark, Jilly was not in the back of the van. She was in the cab of the van. Uh, she's now in her little motor car. Um, sounds like, and I believe that they may be just running the uh, the lank up and not. I um, uh, don't think they're going to be bringing her out. Oh, have they? Ah, oh. uh, Steve Buchan or uh, Steve, can you see the QRA shed from this position? Uh, Steve, I was told, I believe that those over there are the QRAs uh, somewhere over there. Um, interestingly, one of them is open, but uh, we won't uh, pry too much on that. But I believe that these are the QRA sheds over here. I'm not sure. Um, someone will have to uh, fill me in on that one. But um, yeah, what about that uh, F-35? That must have been a 617 jet. Uh, anyone tracking that? Has that gone back to... Um, RAF Marham, isn't it? It's Marham, the 617, uh, uh, based at, at the moment. Eric Ask, um, Mike Boxall. We've got a new member, Martin P. Welcome, Martin. David Artingstall, um, Alistair Hinksman. Um, Martin Smith, I remember seeing and hearing the Hawker Hunters on patrol on holiday in Cornwall. Uh, yeah, another fellow I was talking to up the other end of the airfield, at the other, the, the, at the, um, at the other end of the field. Um, here who was talking about the hunters uh, regularly training in Wales. Uh, Sherby, um, all fingers crossed for another impromptu display. Yeah, um, let's hope that that will be the case. Um, uh, Neil Bramley, give me a typhoon over the F-35 any day. Mm. Yeah, indeed. There we go. Uh, Andy Williams just got his third strike. Neil Bramley, yeah, uh, I, 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 you know, it is, it is. I mean, we put that video up, didn't we, the other day um, about the F-35 versus the F-15 Eagle. Um, I'm guessing, really, you know, but that was just based on the fact that it was in, um, it was based at uh, Lakenheath. Um, in terms of their performance, it's it's a whole different kettle of fish, isn't it? Oh, now I've got, I've got feedback, Jilly, I can hear myself. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so um, in terms of, in terms of, uh, be careful when you get in the van, Jilly, when I'm moving, it's, it's fine, but try and hold still when, um, when if there's anything taxiing or moving out. Um, Andrew Hickenbottom just got my, he's just got his star. Uh, yeah, of course, the uh, the F-35, uh, all, the, all the different uh, jet fighters that, that, uh, that are out there, the F-16, F-15, um, the uh, the F-22, uh, the Typhoon, um, so many of them. And of course, uh, the I mean, I'll be honest with you, uh, those uh, those tornadoes, a sweat wing fighter, isn't it? The tornado. Hello, got a bit of precip. I don't know if those guys are going to go up, you know. So anyway, folks, um, we are obviously going to uh, anybody tracking those on ADSB. Uh, Monkey Boy 85, good day to you. Rick Van Nort, coming overhead north, you, you uh, north to south, US Navy P8 at 20,000 feet. Um, the Poseidon, uh, north to south. John Paul White is a new member, welcome. Jerry, the B 52 did a fly past over Bournemouth Air Show last Saturday, wow. Oh, I can hear it. Oh. Is that, what's that? That's it, innit? That's it, innit? Isn't that, is that the Poseidon there? Hold on a minute, have I got to, oh man, I've got to get this up. Oh, wait a minute. What's that there? Is that in there? Oh, is that as far I can go? Yeah, that's the Poseidon right there, mate. That's a 737, isn't it? Look at the, uh, look at the, um...
whatever it is that's strapped underneath it. You can see that. Yeah, nice. Nice, good shout. Who was that? Who was that that shout? Shouted that. Good call. Um, right then. Um, so, the plan is, folks, that we are going to be uh, we're going to be live tomorrow uh, from this position um, because it is the uh, the better of the two positions when they're on these operations. Let's fly away after burner was on. Uh, what was that for the one that just went up vertical? Was it? Uh, Slar on underside, David Edwards saying, um, "Yes, Chris King, I think the Poseidon is a uh, is a is a um, it's for uh, for um, it is it, it takes it, it has taken place of the AWACS, hasn't it? The, the 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 Poseidon, I believe, or is it the um, is it the Sub Hunter?" Let me just see what that uh, SLAR, let's have a look at that. Submarine, Submariner. Let's just have a little look here. Is that some kind of a radar system? Um, not a lot, lot on, not a lot on it, to be honest with you. I'm guessing the R is radar. <laughs> hey, wow, well, that was crazy. That 35 coming in, wasn't it? Anyway. Um, yeah, so let's fly away, saying after burner was on uh, for that vertical um, climb out that we just had. Uh, Obi Wan, they can carry an, uh, uh, an array of AGM 84 harpoons as well. Uh, oh, Mike Boxall, Bombay. Oh, is that for the? Um, is that for dropping the sonars uh, in the water? I think it is. Uh, thank you, Mike. John Paul White, any plans to Birmingham? Birmingham anytime. Well, we mentioned this the other day, actually, John and um, or John Paul. Um, and the problem with BHX is obviously there's one position, and that is right at the other end uh, in the field, isn't there? There's a viewing. There's a park there where any everybody goes now because the other position at the other end of the runway is now, of course, um, a, a huge. Um, it's just a. Um, uh, a bypass. I think they put a bypass in there, didn't they? Um, Vicky Denning, how far is Waddo? About a 20 minute drive, I think it is, something like that. Yeah, about 15 miles. Andy T. Ducks for this weekend will have over 20 Spitfires flying at once, uh, five Hurricanes. Yeah, that will be the. Um, oh, there's a special show they do every year, isn't it? Uh, I don't think, I'm not sure if the BBMF will be, uh, well actually, yes it's the, uh, it's the historic. Oh, what, what, uh, oh yeah, that's a C-17 in it, that looks like a C-17, that's a C-17 looking at that tail, where's he going out of? He must be going out of Waddington, is he? Or uh, yeah, looking at that tail, that's a uh, oh hello, and a couple of jets. Was that a couple of jets in shot? Oh blimey! I thought uh, has he? Okay. Oh, hello. Three squadron. Okay, three more jets to go, folks. We'll uh, we'll get these three, 
and then I'd imagine maybe by the time they've finished, we'll get the returning, the other ones returning. Who knows? Um, Mark Jones, see you later, Mark. Um, oh, it was an A400, sorry, not C17, it was an A400 GN man saying thank you, GN man. Uh, B52 heading south currently over Darlington Kane saying. Sub Hunter, yes, TCC, I believe that is what the uh, the Orion is, is it not? Is that it again? Is that it just, is it just, is, is it? Hey, GP. Oh no, it's an A380. <laughs> Slightly bigger. Okay, so. Might be doing loops or something. Okay, so we do have. That must have been a couple of crows that I saw in in the shot there. I thought that was. Um, well, that would have been great at that altitude, wouldn't it? Um, Itchy eye, itchy eye. Oh, it's a nice itchy eye. I like itchy eye. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just... yeah, it's an A400M. It's not a C17. Uh, interestingly enough, the A400 and the C17 are very, uh, very similar looks um, from a distance. From a distance. Um, especially with a big tail like that. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Chris King. Randy Bushbaum. Oh, he's ordered the hat. He's ordered the hat. Randy Bushbaum. Uh, enjoy, Randy. Wear it with pride. Um, thank you, sir. I'm in the US. I believe it comes from a US distributor. Randy, it does. You'll probably get it um, quite quick, I would imagine. Uh, abandoned UK. Sonar. That's it. Did I say sonar? Um, David Taylor, B-52 call sign is Spicy21. The Wedgetail 737s coming in about two years are the E3 replacement 25 aviation saying thank you. Yeah, the E3 Century. Um, Jill Blakeney, Tony Island, Dick Dastardly. I'll get you Penelope. Hail, hail. One canopy down, two canopies down. B-52 over Yorkshire. Oh, can you hear the lank? Can you hear the lank? Doing a mag check. That's something that the um, the crews had to do, the, the pilot had to do every single time. Well, both the pilot and the flight engineer um, sitting at the end of the runway, usually doing mag checks or at their dispersal points just to make sure. Oh, I don't know if it was the Lancaster. I think it might be these grass cutters. <laughs> it was. Nice Merlin engine in that. <laughs> um, couple of Merlins. <laughs> Just get a little bit excited tonight. Uh, you can't help it, can you? <laughs> Let's just pretend that's a link taxi there. Yeah, mag checks, mag checks on the grass cutters. Andrew Hickenbottom, I can hear some bass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> grass cutters. Massey Ferguson, V12 Massey Ferguson, doing mag checks. Andrew Hickenbottom, BBMF, Britain, best mowing force. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, two of those uh, foons have fired up over there. Oh my God, are you serious, man? The Lank took off three times yesterday for engine test. Wouldn't that just be a wonderful thing? Yeah. <laughs> 
the John Deere Lancasters. <laughs> I can't do a start up of a uh, burning. Martin Smith. Now we haven't done a big, sh uh, a special show with the BBMF um, at this stage. It is something that uh, one of our good friends is actually. I think he's made some inquiries to the BBMF, but that again is another one that's kind of fallen a bit silent. It is, it is. Um, you know, sometimes I do get people who contact me, and they're very, very, um, uh, they're very um, uh, excited like oh, oh I can do this I can do that I know so and so and I can get this and I can get that and unfortunately um, unfortunately a um, a lot of the times it does uh, it does um, it just falls um, falls at the last hurdle because obviously um, it's difficult when you th when you think you know someone who might be able to get you to a certain place and do certain things. Um, that person doesn't really have the authority, uh, or maybe that person passes it on to uh, the next step, the next rung of the ladder. And unfortunately, again, it um, it uh, it doesn't make it past that position. Unfortunately, Margaret Tomlin, I think the Lank did a fly past at Scampton yesterday. Oh, hey, it is what it is. There was nothing on the board for tomorrow, no, Julie. Oh, okay. Uh, Peter Broom, BBMF at Jersey Air Show on 8th of September. So these are. Uh, Oh, something, something loud over the top. I think that's something going out of Waddo, you know. I think that's something out going out of Waddo. Oh, look at this. It's either that or it's that flipping cloud. Look, look what's coming this way. Coming straight at us, mate. Um, gonna need to be prepared for this. Hold on. That's a big nasty so, uh, cloud. Um, I think we're gonna need to be ready for this. Uh, Unfortunately, this is all from here. Let's just uh, get that all covered up and then I'll get the camera uh, covered over. <laughs> That's coming this way, mate. That's coming this way. There's no doubt about it. Uh, oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Stand by, folks. You are uh, just going to put your coat on. Oh, that was my uh, big fat face in the uh, say a bit, Dad. Just going to 
gonna fight. Stand by. Stand by. We're gonna get hit. Well, hopefully we won't, but so if we are. Still be able to hear me. Um, okay, so those jets will be. Making their way out now. What is? Okay. Okay. Here she comes. Oh, this is quite fast. It looks like they're coming in quite hot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is definitely, I don't think, a planned... Run and break, possibly. Hold still, Jilly. Get out of the van. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I need to tie these off standby.
that uh, cloud is looming. Okay, I'm just going to tie this off, stand by. Nature wants to sling at me. You know, I'll do whatever needs to be done. BBMF grass cutting display team returning now in formation. <laughs> Go on, son! <laughs> breakaway! It's a breakaway! <laughs> Okay, here comes the rain. Falling on my head like a memory. Feel better. <coughs> okay, folks, if you just joined us, get ready for some uh, some hot foon action. Hang up, Jilly.
trouble. Of course it isn't. Uh, sorry about the spots of um, rain, folks, on the... Uh, how long we're going to get this for? We're going to get it for a few minutes. We're all coming up. First time, I think this is going to be the first time that we've seen. Uh, I don't think the, the runway is. It's got enough moisture on it yet. To, uh, to see about it after burner oh my goodness mate oh my goodness mate wow that's what you call a quick reaction alert style departure folks oh GP, hang up! this with like
Okay, GP, you can go comms. That was completely pointless. Why do I? Oh well. Oh dear. Okay, well, I think. Oh, hello. Just in time. What's that mic sounding like? Okay, GP, you can go comms. Oh, do it now, do it now, do it now. Okay. Oh my God, no. The keys are in there, man. I want the keys in there. I don't know, in the ignition, in the ignition. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. I've got a towel, mate. I've got a towel, it's fine. How? You sit in the middle, mate. You sit in the middle of the cab. Two-seater. Look at that rainbow, man. Look at the rainbow.
chilly grab hold of that throw in the van, would you? GP, open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. Let's sling it in the, in the foot well. Cheers, thank you. Tap. Oh my goodness me. Need the rain, never complain about the rain again. Gonna ha! Rainbow up above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see you smiling. Oh, the sky, playing the whole world with a rainbow. Doof, doof, doop, 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 ding, 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 into the circuit that one is it cheeky chappy or chappess okay this one's gonna okay watch this see either a touch and go or a uh... punch it now It's so cool, man. It's so cool. training pilot in the back. Well, the trainee in the front, the training pilot in the back. Um, the, uh, the teacher. Another one, another twin seater. Cadet in the front. Rookie in the front, I'm guessing you'd call it. Training pilot in the back. Oh, he's going to light it up then. Don't be shy. What's that? I 
Oh no, it's not a twin seater, sorry. It's a canard wings on the front as he uh, pushes them, or she deploys them, fully vertical, using them uh, as a speed brake, but also uses as directional. Um, sound that is. Hey. What a lovely sound that is. Right folks, um, what's, um, what's the plan now I wonder? I think that will probably be it folks. We are going to be um, back tomorrow morning, um, bright and early, probably around about, um, let me just move this off, hold on a minute. Maybe he's just crying because he doesn't want to go. He wants more jets. Um, okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Let me release you. Stand by. Oh, this guy. With a rainbow. It's a bit much, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Gordon Bennett. <laughs> um, right, folks. Uh, that's it. Well, um, a lot more than what we uh, what we anticipated. That's for sure. Um, again, for those of you who um, are expecting us to be at Waddington tomorrow, not happening. Um, for uh, for reasons. Um, which we were completely unaware of. Um, I think the MOD's come up with a last minute sort of, uh, um, we'd rather not have anyone here filming uh, live. Um, if you've got a 500 mil lens though and you're standing at the, uh, <laughs> standing at the fence and you want to catch the, uh, the, um, the pilot size, uh, then uh, knock yourself out, you know. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. Got to respect those folks and uh, the MOD, uh, very luckily for us, we uh, get, get to film here. And of course, um, it is MOD land at Lake Anief and um, round the corner at Milton Hall as well. You've got to remember that it is uh, MOD land, even though it is... Um, uh, the United States Air Force and of course the, the RAF here um, but we will be back tomorrow morning around about 8 o'clock um, I've got a bit of a, a, a damp muff I've got a damp muff um, oh, <laughs> clean up on R4 please clean up on R4 please aisle 4 always gets it doesn't it must be a very slippery surface on aisle floor four. Anyway, um, we will, uh, if anything happens uh, whilst we, uh, when we go off air, uh, we'll of course come back. So don't go too far away, just in case. But uh, the plan is, um, this was just literally gonna be uh, two minutes to say hello, goodbye. Um, but uh, you know what it happens, you know what happens here on, on, the, on the show. So uh, we will see you tomorrow morning around about 8 a.m., maybe a little bit earlier. Um, and we will also hopefully cross fingers uh, get to see the BBMF going out as well. And um, didn't Jilly, did J Jilly, did you say that there was apparently uh, the Typhoon display team going to be doing something tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> wow, what about that? Uh, what about that QRA departure, eh? <laughs> hey. Um, afterburner action. That was definitely afterburner action, wasn't it? Uh, folks, look after yourselves. Have a great evening. Uh, be safe, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Cheers, bye. Okay, GP.